having me today. Thanks for coming. You're the big kahuna here, right? <laughs> I'm one of them. You know, Matt's been around for a while, being that he's John's son. And y'all used to make compasses before, didn't you? Yeah, my grandfather and my grandmother, back in 1992, started a company making compasses for the military. Mm -hmm. And uh, that went on in our family all the way until uh, me and my siblings were all of working age, so we all worked there for many years as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that company was sold back in 2005. But yeah, for many years we made the standard issue uh, military compass that everybody's trained on in basic training and uses in their uh, for their land nav in the military. Well, now you make some of the best knives in the business, bar none. I can tell you right now, one of our favorite manufacturers because they do a phenomenal job in everything they do. Who was one of your first buyers? Well, actually it was you, Bear Claw Knife and Shear. Imagine that. <laughs> so yeah, we met you at our the first SHOT Show that we were exhibiting as White River Knife and Tool, and you found our tiny little display, and from then on, it's uh, the rest is history. It was tiny back then, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, which was, man, 12 years ago or, or even more now, so. For the first two or three days, I'm all tied up in meetings, but then I make sure I reserve the last day just to walk up and down the aisles and find those gems, those new manufacturers, maybe somewhat, sometimes not new, but first time at the SHOT Show. Mm -hmm. I try and find these manufacturers that are special. And there they were. It was the first <laughs> SHOT Show. And I, I went walking by and I did a double take. And the knives were extremely well made. And they were just getting into the business. And I could tell right away that White River was gonna be special. The best filet knives I've ever used. And Thank I you. go fishing a lot. Oh yeah. And the edge is spectacular. Uh, and it lasts a long time because of the quality of the steel. Yeah. Um, you know, you'll see some of my other videos, we talk a lot about steel. But man, I tell you what, you guys make the absolute best of everything. And I'm so proud to have you in our store, which by the way is dcknife.com. I expect you all to go there and buy something. Thanks for having us today. Why don't we walk around yeah. and we'll take a look at some of the stations here and how they make some of the knives that they make. Sounds great. Outstanding. So this is kind of our receiving area, but it's also where we keep all of our raw material when it comes in. So as you can see, there's multiple different handle materials stacked up, uh, different micartas, carbon fiber, things, things like that. And then the heavier stuff, like the steel, is down on the bottom. Uh, so we receive it right in this loading bay and then it all gets sorted and organized here to be cut up into various different handles or blade shapes or things along those lines. So this is our CNC milling area. This is where we make different handle shapes, mill out the blade profiles, different shapes, make a nice smooth edge around all of them. Uh, basically your, your initial blank before it has the bevel ground on it, just the outer profile and things like that. So this is a CNC flat bevel grinder. It's really the type of machine that makes us a knife company and sets us apart from a just regular machine shop. This machine's basically only good for making knives or scissors. And what it's doing is putting your primary bevel on the knife on each side. So it comes in, normally this is just the outer profile shape, it goes on this machine and it takes that bevel off with a grinding wheel. This is our filter system for the grinder. As it's grinding those bevels like you just saw, the grinding wheel wears away along with particles of the actual steel that you're grinding away. Yeah. And this filters out all that coolant so that it can continually be used just recycles it through. So it's got a filter paper and some magnets to separate all the particles of contaminants out of the coolant. Keep it nice and clean. These are our vibratory tumblers. This is after the grinding process, this is where we do our finishing. So when you hear of a stone wash finish, this is one way that you can make that happen. So it's a big bin that has a bunch of different stones, ceramic stones in it that are various shapes and it vibrates and all of your steel blanks flip around in there all different directions. Uh, also with water, uh, and it gives it that nice stone wash, even finish that you love to see. Depending on the model and the finish we're trying to get, it could be anywhere from six hours to even uh, up to 24 if we're trying to get a high polish. So this is one of our assembly areas. So after the components are done in the CNC area, uh, the grinding area, and then the stone wash finishing is done, those handle components and blades come together here with various fasteners, as you can see up on the wall, um, and everything the worker who's assembling it needs to make a complete knife. So it all gets put together right now. The ones that are being assembled are the Exodus 3 knife. And after this point, it goes on to finishing and sharpening. This is our knife finishing and sharpening area. This is where you see most of the hand work done. Uh, the final sharpening is all done by hand. Um, and then on various models that need it, different handle shaping, 
uh, fitting and things like that are all done here on various belt grinders and buffing wheels and things like that. As you can see right now, he's working on our cork traditional fillet knife. Uh, he's doing some of the final handle shaping on here, just getting this all nice and smooth, nice fit and finish, getting that all finished up. After that's all done, the next step is gonna be sharpening that thing up. So another example of what goes on over here is finishing up uh, the finish on our new fillet knife model. This is our six inch model and what he's doing is putting a satin finish on that blade with a scotch bright wheel. After the knife is complete, it comes to the cleaning and packaging area. This is where the final inspection goes on. Everything's clean and then moved over to the actual packaging area where it gets placed in the wood box. All of our knives come in wooden boxes and uh, we'll show you that next. This is how all of our knives are packaged in wooden boxes. It's just a little uh, value added packaging is what we like to call it. Um, all made in the US 100% and guaranteed for life. So this is our final inventory area. This is where all the knives are staged in their various configurations and model options. And this is where we take them and put them into large boxes and ship them down to Bear Claw Knife and Shear. Thank you for the tour. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Everything's put together so well. Everything is so professionally run here. We're going to go have some fun tomorrow. What are we going to do? Uh, I think we're going to go out on the big lake and uh, go, go try to catch some fish. That could be fun. I'm guessing y'all want to come along. So uh, why don't we go fishing? Now for us, it'll be tomorrow morning, but for you, it'll be this quick. And here we are with Matt going overboard. Matt, <laughs> what do you say we go fishing? Let's do it. We take this quick break from our filming to talk about this very special thing that's going on right here. Tell me about what all this is about. Yeah, so this is another little project we got going on at White River Knife and Tool. We've been sponsoring a group called Women with Knives for the last two years. It's a throwing knife league that uh, they all get together and compete in throwing knives. And uh, we've been sponsoring them. And we decided, why don't we get into the throwing knife business a little bit? and we're actually gonna be coming out with some throwing knives in the near future. And this is our family shooting range where we uh, host uh, different shoots. And we actually have it set up for this weekend for some knife throwing. So we're excited about it. It's a kind of a different new thing for us and we're looking forward to it. So it's gonna become a regular thing up here at White River to, yeah, to we're, do this? Yeah, we're hoping to expand upon it. This weekend it's more of a casual, just kind of private invite thing. Mm -hmm. um, but in the future we're hoping to, you know, maybe expand and, and look look and see what we can do with it in the future. So We're looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, you heard it here first. Back to our regular scheduled program.
great trip today. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We caught a lot of fish. We did, I think 13. 13 fish. Yeah, that was great. Some uh, salmon in there. And yep, yep, some steelhead, steelhead and trout. And trout, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Big ones. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you for taking me on this trip. And y'all got to see how they do things out at White River Knife and Tool. You know, I encourage folks all the time, and, and y'all know this, if you want a truly well-made knife, I mean, really world-class knife made right here in the USA, at a reasonable price point, White River Knife and Tool is definitely it. I highly recommend all of their knives. There's, there's not a dud in the bunch. There's a knife in there for you. And if you're going fishing, they're the best fillet knives I've ever seen, bar none. And I own one and I use one all the time. So uh, thank you again for having me. From Muskegon, Michigan, <laughs> I'm Richard with Bear Claw Knife and Share. Come visit us at bcknife.com or come see us in Midland, Texas. Until the next time, see you then. Some people got a good hand Never wondering if they can But I've been fighting what I'm feeling Needing something to believe in Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the storm Oh, lift me up, lift, lift me, me up, up from the valley Oh, lift me up Lift me from the oh, storm. Lift me up, lift me up from the valley.